the Pentium 2 is the fastest processor in the world. Not quite. The chip inside every new Power Macintosh G3 is up to twice as fast. computer would like to apologize for toasting the Pentium 2 processor in public. But the fact remains, the chip inside every new Power Macintosh G3 is up to twice as fast. is our pro desktop product. Last Wednesday, we introduced our pro portable product, and of course, that is the new PowerBook G3. It is a wonderful product. It is just gorgeous looking as well. And it features displays up to 14 inches. First time PowerBooks have had displays over 12 inches. We offer a 12, a 13.3, and a 14.1, and they're really great. And we went out and found the fastest notebook computer you can buy in the PC space. It's got a 266 megahertz Pentium 2. We had to go fly one of these in because you can hardly find them anywhere. They're so hard to make, I guess. And <laughs> we just smoke them. We are easily twice as fast as the fastest Pentium notebooks. And we believe in our tests we're faster than any Pentium 2 desktop. So this is one fast portable. And <clears throat> We've also priced these things really aggressively. The 14-inch starts at $34.99. The 13-inch starts at $29.99. And so we're really going to sell a lot of these things, and we hope you all take a look at them. And when you have a new product, you need a new ad. So we have a new ad that I'd love to screen for you as well. So if we could screen, it's entitled Steamroller. There's a time and a place for subtlety. This is definitely not the time or the place. Because the entire Pentium Notebook world has just been flattened by a machine with a chip that's up to twice as fast. This runs starting tomorrow night on all the networks, so check it out. So that is our pro portable product line. On the consumer portable, when we announced that we were going to stop making the eMate, which used the Newton OS, we at that time announced that we would be making a consumer portable in 1999 that ran the Mac OS, and we are hard at work on that now and expect to hear some news during the first half of next year. Which brought us to the consumer desktop. And this was one of the, the most exciting moments we've had in a long time, I think, at Apple. Uh, going back into the consumer market again. Remember, Apple invented the consumer market for computers. But for some reason, it lost its way. And last summer, it didn't make one compelling product under $2,000. That's really scary. And we decided to get back into the consumer market with a vengeance. We began a crash program to do so. Guys, could I ask you to stop using the flashes for a little while? That'd be great. I, I can hardly see anymore. Thanks. And, you know, Apple has some incredibly unique assets to go back after the consumer market. Now, what are they? Well, the first one is the brand. Brands are incredibly important these days. The world is so confusing. There's so much information coming at us that a trusted brand is like a trusted friend. And brands have become much more important than they ever have been. And the Apple brand is one of the best known brands in the world. It's right up there next to Disney, Sony, and Nike. 
There's no other brand in the computer industry that's even close. And so we want to use the brand to remind people that this company makes great products with great user experiences. We have over 100 million people that have used products from Apple. Another interesting thing about brands is they're much more resilient than people think. Every one of the other three companies on this slide has had tough times before. Look at Disney when Michael Eisner got there a dozen years ago. Right? And look at where they've come. Sony's had their share of troubles in the last seven, eight years. Nike as well. And yet when these companies resurge, their brands are stronger than ever. Tremendous equity. Installed base. Of course we're going to go after new customers. Of course we're going to go after Wintel customers. But let's not ignore the installed base. It's an incredible asset. Apple has an installed base of 22 million active Macs out there. And what's interesting about that is that 10 million of them are in homes. And most of them are three and a half years old or older, which means they're ready to be upgraded. But these customers haven't been upgrading, nor have they been defecting. These customers have been defecting at less than 10% a year. And what that means is they've had viability concerns about Apple, and Apple hasn't offered them a compelling product at the price points they want. Well, hopefully both of those things have changed. In addition to that, education, as I mentioned, buys primarily consumer products. So we've got 16 million customers already who know how to use the product, who have software for the product, who want to buy more Macs. And we're going to help them do that. Marketing is key as we get more to the consumer market. Again, Apple is getting pretty good at getting its messages across. Most of our competitors in this market are not particularly good at marketing. They're good at merchandising, which is something quite different. And fashion. As we get more towards consumer products, fashion gets important. I found 10 months ago the best industrial design group I've ever seen in my life at Apple. For us, fashion is the design of our products. And we think this is really important to consumers. I'll give you an example. This is the hottest selling watch in the world today, the Casio, Casio G-Shock, because of design. Another interesting thing on watches is 10 years ago, the average American owned one watch. Today, 10 years later, because of design, the average American owns seven watches. Not seven of these, but seven total. <laughs> so design is very powerful. And lastly, ease of setup and use. It's very easy for us in the Mac community to forget that we still have by far the easiest to set up and easiest to use product. This becomes even more important when we're selling to people who don't get paid to use them for a living. So we think we've got a pretty great set of unique assets to go after this market. And the product that we've chosen to go after it with is iMac. The excitement of the internet with the simplicity of a Macintosh. And this thing is really gorgeous. We unveiled it last Wednesday like this. about 50 decibels louder on Wednesday. <laughs> and this thing is a gorgeous product. Uh, if you have a chance, take a look. We have, have them throughout the, uh, the conference here. Again, even the keyboard, the whole product is translucent, and it's really, really beautiful. It's packaged up in an all-in-one unit. This is the mouse. Again, best mouse you've ever used, I think. And it's, it's really wonderful to have the whole thing in one box. I believe it's the only computer, the only desktop computer that comes in one box. So, this is the competition. <laughs> this is the best consumer computer you can buy in the Wintel space. It's a compact unit. And we've looked at all of them, and they're all really slow. 